Welcome to my channel. So, today we are going to learn multiple alleles. You might know the gene. What is gene? Gene is the segment of DNA which expresses the character. And you also know that gene has alternate forms called alleles. But one gene normally contains two alternate form means two allele but certain cases gene has more than two allele that call multiple allelism the phenomenon when gene contain more than two allele is called multiple allelism the best example of multiple allelism is our human blood group so we'll learn about causes of multiple allelism so there's only one cause that is called mutation repeated mutation yeah repeated mutation of a gene may cause multiple alley formation So this is the human blood group. ABO system of human blood group is the best example. So you understood? I hope. So here we go. Do you know who provide ABO system? That's Carl Lenstainer. He is the scientist who discovered ABO blood group system of human being. Now I'll we'll learn about phenotype. Okay, one thing you comment what is phenotype, what is genotype. Okay, see you. Now there's four phenotype of blood group that is blood group A, then blood group B. Yes, yes, you're right. Blood group AB. Then, blood group O. You are too right. And what about genotype now? Can you guess? Yes, yes. Yes, that is IA. IA. That is what type of blood group? Homozygous. It's a homozygous state. IA, IA. It also heterozygous state. IE, IO. What about IB? That would be it has IB, IB in homozygous condition. In case of heterozygous condition, it has IB, IO. And what about AB? It has only heterozygous condition that is IA, IB. And what about O? IO, IO in homozygous condition. So you must know A and B both are equally dominant that's why they are called co-dominants they both of they express if they are present in the gene and I is the recessive so if A and B any of one is present the I will not express which is expressed in only homozygous condition okay now I hope understand so now it's your turn to know the chart so please pause the video and try to read the chart what about blood group and antigen present antibody present then you can understand also who can donate whom so from this 
chapter you try to answer the question Standard high, it's embarrassing how I lost it. Try. 